I never thought I'd be making a settings video on a closed beta, but the goal of this video is to boost your FPS and visibility without making the game look like utter dog crap. Starting under the video and graphics tab, under windowed mode, I am personally playing on windowed full screen. I do this because I stream and record, and being able to alt tab out of the game quickly is very important to me. Although, playing in full screen mode technically does give you the least amount of input lag possible, but whether that's noticeable or not is debatable. I personally don't notice a difference but something you might notice by switching to windowed full screen is that it locks your resolution and refresh rate so you need to make sure those are set correctly in your nvidia control panel otherwise you could just change it to full screen and then edit these and then switch them back and it should be fine now let's talk about these low latency modes here because i had an issue with these so when i first started playing the game i had enabled reduced latency turn to no here and i had nvidia reflex low latency enabled because i thought turning these settings both on would somehow conflict with each other but i was getting a lot of input lag on mouse and keyboard at least it, it felt absolutely terrible until i turned enabled reduce latency on now the problem with turning this on is it's going to reduce your frame rate but i would rather have lower input lag and less fps rather than more fps and more input lag which is kind of contradicting because normally when you have more fps you have less input lag your brightness and contrast here are really going to depend on your monitor I have found that 15 and 15 for both look great. And then DX12 renderer. I have this set to yes. This is set to no by default, which means you're playing on DirectX 11. And what I found is when this was set to no, my game was a stuttery mess and then changing this to yes and then restarting my game did fix the stuttering for me so if you are having a lot of stuttering issues try turning this on and then restart your game i'm not going to mess with any of the hdr settings here and then make sure your graphics quality is set to custom for the rest of this stuff we want vsync mode turned off vsync will fix screen tearing issues but at the cost of a lot of input lag and it is terrible don't ever turn it on in any game frame rate limit i have this turned off because I have a 240 hertz monitor and the custom FPS limit only goes up to 200, which is kind of unfortunate because I would prefer to have this on and just cap my FPS at 240 to make the game overall a little more smooth, but I want to take advantage of the full hertz of my monitor. Then shadow quality here, I have this set to normal. I don't want the shadows to look absolutely terrible on low but also maxing these out to very high or even high is just going to kill your fps and then spot shadows make sure you have this on low turning this to low is going to make it so there's less shadows overall in the game which will boost visibility and fps and then spot shadow resolution we have set to low as well now contact shot shadows i have set to all low this is going to make the game look overall a little bit better but this is going to affect performance a bit so if you are really needing to squeeze more fps out of the game and you don't really care about the overall look of the game just turn this completely off resolution scale it is very important to have this at 100 anything lower is going to make the game look like absolute trash because it's lowering your resolution sharpening i have set to eight this is self-explanatory it's affecting just how sharp you want your game to be so this is literally personal preference particle detail we have set to low volumetric fog i have set to medium again if you don't care how your game looks and you just want to maximize fps just turn it to low reflection quality we have set to low local reflection quality we have set to off and then whoa the game just went really crazy there and then we got vegetation quality now the difference between low medium and high for vegetation quality didn't look visually all that different but i did notice a sizable fps boost so i definitely recommend setting this to low subsurface scattering we want to turn this on parallax mapping we want this on or turn to yes ambient occlusion we have this set low and then object detail here here's the difference of object detail being at max and at the very lowest setting and what you'll notice is on the max setting objects look more detailed just like it states but there is a big difference in terms of fps and this difference in terms of fps is going to be a lot more noticeable if you're on a lower end system so what i recommend you doing is setting this to 50 although setting it to 50 always reverts it to 49 for some reason and see how it performs on your system this will give you a good mix between fps and visual quality but if you are struggling for fps with this set to 50 
just keep turning it down until you're satisfied and that extra streaming distance is the distance at which objects can render in so ideally you want this set all the way up to max so the objects don't keep popping in in front of your face as you're running around the map and when i tested the difference here the difference in terms of fps was pretty noticeable between the highest and lowest settings here so setting this to five is giving us the best of both worlds we don't really notice any objects popping in as we're moving around the map and we're also getting a boost to our fps lens flare we want this turned off water quality we have set to low chromic aberration we have this turned off high resolution sky textures no and then terrain quality here I have this set to medium, but when I tested the difference, I was able to see a quality difference between each setting, and I also noticed a sizable FPS boost by turning this down. And like I said, the goal of this video is to make the game look good visually while also boosting our FPS and visibility, and that's why I'm putting this on medium. But again, if you just want to max your frames, just, you know, turn it to low. Moving over to gameplay and UI here, at the top we have a field of view slider, which is very nice. Now, field of view is personal preference i prefer having it maxed out but i think a good rule of thumb is to just have anything over 100 but ads field of view is very important you want this set to consistent if you look at the difference here when you have it set to consistent when you're ads you're going to be more zoomed out on consistent which is going to make recoil control significantly easier ads behavior we want this set to hold i guess this is personal preference you're kind of weird though if you play toggle just saying and then ads sensitivity transition you want this on instant so the second you click your ads button your ads sensitivity is being applied and there's no sort of like sluggish delay feel when you ads melee during ads i have this set to no so i don't accidentally melee while i'm ads although this is personal preference and a lot of these settings in here are going to be personal preference like aiming interrupts reload i want this set to yes so i could maybe just click the ads button to cancel a reload and crouch behavior sprint behavior i mean these are both personal preference as well auto sprint i personally like this turned on so i'm not mashing my shift key all the time and for controller players if you turn this on it might save your left stick and it's just overall a better experience in my opinion sprint interrupting reload i have this set to no because if i'm sprinting i want to be able to still reload but there's also situations where i want to reload cancel and in those situations i could either just press the ads button to cancel the reload or i could just double tap my switch weapon button slide behavior you definitely want this on tap auto reload and auto switch weapons that's fine to have both of these to yes for when you run out of ammo auto grab latch definitely make sure this is set to no and then walk behavior i have set to no as well and then adjust hud limits i like to click this and bring in my hud a little bit now normally i'd like to bring my hud in all the way so i could see important information like the mini map closer to the center of my screen but the problem is when you do that in this game it's going to be overlapping other hud elements and it's just distracting so this is a good sweet spot that i found here for the HUD distance units I mean that's personal preference and then all these settings down here are how you can show your FPS your ping all that kind of stuff is down here so whatever you want in the top left hand corner of your screen can be turned on down here if you want to make your game pop a little bit more go to your Nvidia control panel and go to adjust desktop color settings and then copy these settings down here this is going to add a little bit of vibrance and visibility to your game although this isn't exactly necessary for this game because the game is already very vibrant and the visibility is already pretty good but this could help a little bit and just make the game overall look a bit better but that is it for the settings if these helped you out make sure you click the subscribe button i'd really appreciate it and here's the web peace